I want to talk to you guys again. Nothing much. You know the usual. It's pen time. I got another Jahano pen. Actually, I have about five here that I haven't reviewed, but you're going to see them. We're going to talk about this one. It comes in this nice black box. Pretty simple. Upon further inspection, it's in a plastic little sleeve. Not the most ideal thing. Let's see if this has anything special on it. Let's zoom in and see. Eh, it just says Jahano. Let's see here. Yeah, it just says Jinhao. Was I saying Jahano the whole time? Wow, I feel like an idiot. Some more Japanese. I think that's really cool. Um, I think in presentation-wise, you should just have it like this. It would be even greater if it had like a little indent so it would sit a little better. Just because I don't like when it's in a box and stuff like that. It's shaking around. That doesn't make for a cool gift. But like this, I think this would look very special. So let's take it out. Let's inspect it some more. You know what? On further inspection of this, let's get into it. Let's get right in here. This looks really nice. I like this little, it looks like a little teardrop um, right here. And on the side it says Jin Hao. And it's got this green marble look. It's a very dark green marble look. Again, I'm a big fan of pens that are heavy. And this one feels kind of heavy. This one's got some weight to it. It, it feels, feels very good. Again, like I've always said, I'm not really a fan of these, like, these little clips. Um, I would rather it just not have a clip. Be clipless. Can't screw off the bottom here. I think we just pull. So let's pull. Before we take a look at that, let's just look more at the lid. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It feels very, very glossy. Nothing special in here. I feel if banks were to have fountain pens, this is something that it would, this is one that they would use. Oh, look at this. They've got my favorite. They've got the indents. You guys, any pen that has these type of indents in here, oh, they're to die for. Just because I, I have, I have very dry hands, so I lotion them constantly, so things are just always grip, like I can't grip things that much. <coughs> now I can grip things much easier with this. Let's take a look at the nib. Ah, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at those, those grips on there, those ridges right here. Those ones look neat. Again, let's see a little bit more of that. Again, we've got the Jin Hao logo. Now, this one says Jin Hao, and then it says 18K GP. On this one, it says 7 on the side. Can I get a clear shot of that? Yes, I can. That one says 7. And I, always, I will always be a fan of two-tone pens. The two-tone pen nibs, I mean. This one's just probably a regular point, doesn't feel as sharp. But again, the ridges here, they feel great. Oh, look at that, it's great to hold. I can already imagine holding this really tight. Really tight on there. So that's actually feels really neat. And this feels really, really glossy. So I think what the next thing to do is, how about we fill this up? Well, wait, let's actually find out how we fill this up. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. Okay, so on the twist on the twisty top side, it says Jin Hao as well. Can I get a little bit closer? There you go. You see that? And again, does this one have any ball inside there? Nope, it doesn't. It's pretty clear inside. Um, yeah, put that down. You go suck that all the way up. Uh, you know what? I'm beginning to think that is how most fountain pens are. And keep in mind, I've only done maybe about eight fountain pens. Not even eight. Yeah, maybe about six fountain pens, and so far, this is the most common one I've seen. I was going to always assume the eyedropper was going to be the most common kind, but no, I guess I'm wrong. Like, it going down here, sucking back up, that's the, that's the kind that you'd see. Oh, drop the lid. But now that I know what kind it is, why don't we do something special? Like, get out some ink, let's draw some ink into it, let's start writing. Hands, just slightly dirty. There we go. There we are. Trusty paper towel. Let's start dipping. Go, release. Oh, I'm not sticking it in a lot far enough. Go. 
There we go. I'm going to push it out. I'm going to actually try and get a little bit more. Ooh, look at that. I almost filled it to the brim. Wow, you know what? Shout out again to the poor typist who told me about filling it up um, a little bit easier that way. I'm going to tell you guys, that actually really worked. There's a little tip for you. You know what? The more I do this, I'm going to make one long video of just like a basic how-to or what I've learned about fountain pens. Because I think I've had enough, enough of these where I can do... I can do my education on fountain pens. And I think that'd actually be cool to learn, like from a completely newbie perspective and stuff, right? So gosh, even holding this right now, it already feels a lot heavier with the ink in it. I'm gonna put this right here. Uh oh. Ugh. All right, we got that. Hey, let's get some paper. Surprise. All right, friends, let's do this. Friends, this, ink. Holy crap. This ink comes out fast, and man, is it thick. Look at this. This is very, you can tell already how thick this is. Let's try some cursive. My name is Greg, and this in how pen writes very thick. Happy face. So how do I feel about this? I, as you know, I'm not really a fan of how like how thick pe like ink comes out of pens. But gosh, this came out. This just poured out. Like it felt. So I don't even want to say the word smooth. I kind of want to say the word rubbery. I don't know why. But like it does come out smooth, but it came out smooth and wide because like look at look at my print. It is like these the lettering is very, very thick. And as you can see, like different parts are lighter and darker than each other side. But I tell ya, like I tell ya. Wow. So you see, yeah, you see how that's working out? Like just just how much how much is just coming out at one time, and I'm still sticking with this. Like if Banks had fountain pens, this is the fountain pen to have. I like how it comes out. I really like the look of this like this this dark green marble. Look at this dark green marble. Look at this dark green. Marble color. So you guys, as as you as I've said, and, and you guys have mentioned, yes, it's time to start retiring. Um, it's time to start retiring this this Parker ink, get some better ink and stuff. I ordered some Waterman, and it just hasn't come in yet. But altogether, how this writes, this is the type of pen. It's like if you're at the bank and you're signing checks, anything to do with a bank. This I don't know why it reminds me of a bank so much. One thing I'm really noticing is like. This isn't meant for long, write, long writing because this top doesn't stay on very well. Like, I'm, I'm pushing a little bit, but it's, it's staying on pretty poorly. So, as again, let's, let's see how well this colors. Let me zoom in some more. Since it writes so thick, I'm assuming it's going to color really well. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. It kind of feels like a new crayon, if that makes sense. Just the way it's just coming out so I can just like easily write on this. Can I use this as an everyday writer? If I was a person that likes thick print, like thick like lines whenever I'm writing letters and stuff like that, obviously, yeah, I would, I would take that for sure. But look at that. Look at that go. So this, I guess the way this um, nib is and how wide it is, this is actually great. Great for coloring. Again, you're not going to use this for coloring. But if you're a fan of thicker, <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> I'm sorry again. If you're a fan of just thicker type of print and stuff, this one actually really is cool. This one's going to go in the collection. I don't, I don't see myself using it that much or probably any more after this. But I am wowed by it. I am really wowed by its deep color. I think it looks neat for sure. It feels really, really cool. 
So all together, let's, let's actually take another one look at it. So look at that. Yeah, all together, this, this, this still looks pretty great. Um, it's got my favorite things, which is the rubber grips on the bottom. And I like how Jinhao's written on this. That's their side of classiness. And again, I do like two-toned nibs. Two-toned nibs are just so cool to me. So cool to me. So this one's just cool. It's not going to really wow you in terms of the way it writes. But like, hey, if you're a big fan of like fat lettering, then this one is yours. I'm just, I think I should label this, name this one. This is the type of pen a banker would use. Like a teller. Somebody had a teller. There's nothing wrong with that. Hey, that's it for me. Take care.